Hi all, this is a inverter from Aliexpress a new one that I got it's not expensive, the price about $30 and it's capable of 500 watt by the manufacturer, I'm not sure that it can reach to 500 but if you will see, the fuse here is 40 amp and it is for 12 volt, so it is for 480 watt but again the efficiency is never 100 percent so if we think about let's say 90 percent so it's around 400 watt but i'm not going to use it for such a high uh, wattage so uh, i intend to use it for about uh, 200 watt maximum this means that the current from the battery will be less than 20 amps because 20 amps and 12 volt is uh, 240 uh, watt okay so let's see what we have the most important thing about the inverter is that it is pure shine wave and this is this model here I'm not sure about this one and it came with no data sheet so I guess uh, this is the power button because it is in Chinese and I don't have anything and I think that the connection here is one for uh, if you want a, a thermistor to input I don't know which one and the other one will be a fan for uh, for this case so which means it will turn the fan on when the heat sink heat up if you use a thermistor from here to here but I'm not sure which and what and how to use it the potentiometer here is usually the voltage out it should be 220 volt 50 hertz and what again inverter is doing is taking a DC voltage from here 12 volt and convert it to 220 volt to use uh, for appliance that use this uh, voltage and let's see if this is working uh, another thing before seeing if it is working what is important is that the a transformer here is very small one and it is capable of almost 500 watt and how this is possible this is possible if you are switching your shine wave with a very high frequency and then using a filter and the filter here is probably this capacitor and this coil in order to remove the high frequency and leave just the uh, 50 hertz and then you can use a very tiny transformer and it is can still carry the high wattage and if you want to use let's say the old version so the transformer should be something like this very big and the advantage of this is very small transformer here we have an edge bridge so uh, there are pairs of uh, a two MOSFET of a P channel, two N channel, I don't know which is what but you have a two and two for one bridge and two and two for the second bridge usually this is how it works and this is basically all there are two LEDs, one is uh, OK, power OK, and the other one is written fault, which light up probably if your voltage is too low or the current is too high or something is wrong with the circuit. So how we're going to test it? First, I have prepared. I have here from IKEA. Yeah, from IKEA. You can see this is uh, not a LED. This is a coil and it uh, it's written 30 watt 30 watt yeah i think yeah uh, 36 watt 36 watt you see here very small i think 36 watt and yeah 220 volt so this is my load here so we will just connect it here i already prepared wires from the output to uh, an outlet let's say and 
we will stick it like this and of course what is left is to connect a battery so I, I already prepared a battery for this I will zoom out and the battery is from UPS you need a high current battery this should be 12 volt and not uh, 24 like this battery so I'm going to use it like this so you can see here the, the the light and I have already prepared some connection to uh, the power by the way you can see that these wires are very wide the, the width is high for high current of course so it's not uh, uh, it's not seen it's sick wire so let's connect the sick wire by the way I can tell you which wire is is this because I have a gauge this is a nine gauge yet yeah, nine gauge nine gauge wire by the way it's not the best to connect very sick to then very thin but because I know what are the currents that I'm going to use I know what I'm doing disclaimer do not do such a thing this is high current and you can kill yourself as I always say and you may have to make sure that the surface is clean and you're not shorting anything so you, you need to be very careful when working with such a thing so let's connect the positive and the negative and hope that we are not doing any short Wow, oh, there was a spark here and it is already on so I have here a switch yeah this is the switch that I thought and you will see it is starting from low voltage and then it's automatically go up which is part of the protection and uh, a very special and unique pure shine uh, module that I think I've talked about it is using high frequency and then you convert it with the filter so yeah I'm powering it on you can see that it is lighting and lighting okay and let's now measure the the current from our battery and what we expect to see if it is let's say 100 percent uh, efficiency so we need to see that the current we have 36 watt and 12 volt so it should be around 3 amp of course it will be a little higher because efficiency is never 100 percent maybe i will focus a little on the current meter and now i turn it on and you can see that the current is going to 3.16 amp which is very good because it's almost 100% and this is because the pure shine wave that is getting the best performance in terms of efficiency and another thing that I always wanted to see to see if this tester will work because yeah let's connect the tester I'm powering on yeah the light doesn't turn on so the other side why the tester is not lighting I don't know I think it should light yeah maybe maybe I'm not connecting to ground or I don't know let's try another tester let's try another one because it should light up so interesting this tester of course should work aha 
maybe I know what I will connect myself yeah do you see it is now lighting and now why is it not light because I'm not connected to the ground this is a floating uh, path so just when I use my finger and touch the negative wire here I will do it here you will see it so with my finger when I'm touching then the tester lit up because I need to close a circuit in reference to my negative and the negative is the negative uh, side of the battery maybe one additional test I want to measure the voltage so that it is 220 so I will use my fluke multimeter I will connect it and now I will power it on ah it is just a second disconnected from the power source yeah I did disconnect it so I will reconnect everything and then we will check that we have 220 volts okay so powering it up you will see the voltage is coming till it is 220 volts point ah, it is a little decreasing but yeah it is okay you can see the voltage is very accurate 290.6 volt okay that's all a second by